Good morning, Jim Lurkey, owner of Safety Connections. And my blurb for the week is on hottest topics in leadership. Again, I was trying to make it relevant. I see employers everywhere are struggling to find good talent. Yet, when they hire someone, like minutes ago, <clears throat> it's not what we we're looking for. So we try to nurture and we try to do everything we can to retain and hope that we can be successful. So what should companies prioritize to retain and grow? Well, I think we're, we're clearly in a new era. And I think we gotta take into consideration what's happening with cultures. what's happening that we struggle to create a positive work culture. I think that's where it's taken the biggest hit. The more employees dispersed than ever before, workplaces that are traditionally in-person see talent drawn to greener pastures. And, and there's a risk, all right, of toxic, bubbles building within companies that don't consistently offer all their employees the same level of flexibility or positive experiences. Quickly raise the stakes for what it means to be the best place to work. And I think what we gotta do is leaders who are more inclusive and emphatic can not only prevent toxic cultures from emerging, but also better foster and sustain a positive work connection that help retain key talent. From ideal employee experiences to real commitment, all the changes in the world outside of work can fuel a strong desire from employees to see companies commit to new ways of doing things. For many, I think this has seemed, if you will, like a push towards sustainability that's driving social causes, but really it's about getting more commitment. Employees and consumers are voicing a stronger desire to see companies embrace changes to address these major challenges in business and society. So how we act and react to it is gonna be critical. I will continue next week down this path. So with that, I wish y'all a great week and take care.